Now I'd like to show you some techniques that you can use in LabVIEW to begin with some sort of binary pattern and then convert that to some numerical data type. And that can be either an unsigned or a signed integer format. Let me begin by showing you some techniques to quickly get some discrete Boolean controls going here. When I do the copy of the item, I'm holding down the control button and then clicking on it and then dragging to the new position. Now the first thing I will do here with these individual Boolean controls is convert them into an array. The least significant bit is on the top of the build array node and the MSB is on the bottom. And I'll lay these out in a fairly conventional format here where we have the LSB on the right side and the MSB or most significant bit on the right on the left hand side, excuse me. And we've got some options here where you can do some quick cleanup and get some equi equidistant spacing and everything looks good. Now I've expanded the array indicator at this point and we see that there are four active LED displays and then three that are grayed out are the inactive ones. So I'll then uh, point out that if you were to use the index scroll bar here you can scroll through the array elements without changing them. I'll just go ahead and hide the inactive elements since we just have four uh, Boolean controls to work with here. Okay, it's important to note that the LSB is coming in on the top end of the build array device or the build array node as it's known and in the Boolean indicator back here on the front panel we see that the MSB appears on the right side. And it's just something you have to kind of remember that uh, the way the arrays are displayed is it puts the, the smallest index values on the left side. Now let me show you how you can now interpret this binary pattern as a numerical value. Here I'm converting to an unsigned integer data type. And you'll note if you compare some of these binary patterns that I'm selecting that everything seems to work out just fine as far as the decimal format is concerned. I'll point out that you can choose other display formats as well, such as hexadecimal. So we see that when all bits are lit up, that's an F. Here we have the value E. And one other thing that's really helpful when you do anything other than the default of decimal is uh, to tick the checkbox for show radix. So now we see a little X appearing there indicating that this is a hexadecimal display. Now you also note that the numerical value has a representation of U32 at the moment. So that's an unsigned 32-bit integer. Let's try making this a little smaller. I'd like to use an unsigned 8-bit integer. You'll note that the red coercion dot shows up on that control since there's a mismatch in data types. But I can resolve that by changing the numerical indicator to also the unsigned 8-bit representation.
again I held the shift button down before clicking on it and that gave me the copy ability so I'm doing some quick changes here to now display the value as a signed integer and the only time you see sign is when you <coughs> excuse me when you have the decimal format selected Again, I'm taking my same exact binary pattern but now interpreting it as a signed integer So for the moment, let's consider this to be a signed 4-bit integer coming in. Since the MSB is active, that tells us we're supposed to see a negative result. Now I do have the coercion dot going on again. So let me first make sure that I'm actually generating a signed integer also I'll point out that you have a couple different ways of dealing with the extension of that sign bit we see now that the we see now that the output is in fact showing up as a negative value the notion of sign extension here is when you go from a smaller number of bits to a larger number of bits, you have the option about whether or not that sign bit should get uh, propagated leftward to all of the remaining bits in the new larger number. So it looks like everything's working out fine right here. Again, I'll point out that if you choose not to do sign extension, well then we know that since we're filling the upper four bits now with zero then that's going to be displayed as a positive value